So Norway, Sweden, Mexico, Ireland, Indonesia, Malaysia, South Africa, and these are just some of the countries that over time have been some of the leaders in pushing for nuclear disarmament. They are fed up with the US and the other nuclear states stiffing our uh, obligation under the NPT, the NPT which was signed in 19, or went into effect in 1970, it was signed in 68, doesn't say that the US and the other permanent security council members can have our nukes forever while nobody else can have them. It does not say that. Article 6 says that we have to uh, negotiate in good faith for nuclear disarmament, and it even mentions general and complete disarmament. But again, that's since 1970. So these countries have been fed up. Over the last four or five years, there have been a very impressive integration between some of these governments that have long pushed for nuclear disarmament and NGOs who have met several times under what they call the humanitarian uh, campaign, that the humanitarian impacts of nuclear weapons and nuclear war deserve more attention. And there were three very important international conferences. And again, what's really good about it is the integration of governments and non-governmental organizations. Now, there's been a model UN convention to ban nuclear weapons since the mid-90s, and it's great. And you could just have a bunch of countries sign that right now if they wanted to. My own personal view is I don't care much about the mechanism. They could, they could sign a treaty to ban nuclear weapons on the back of a cocktail napkin as far as I'm concerned. But uh, using the UN has a lot of power, and one of the things people don't remember, the General Assembly was actually the body that enacted the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. It wasn't separate negotiations, it wasn't a conference on disarmament, which has been stalemated forever. It was the General Assembly that came together, and the General Assembly is the most representative and democratic and participatory body. It was the General Assembly that came together in 1996, I guess it was, uh, to, uh, uh, enact the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. So there is that good history, and again, you have this emerging uh, collaboration that's been over the last few years. So that's what's happening in New York. It's a big deal, except for people in Washington probably don't even know about it. And Flynn, I'm glad you said that. Uh, all the traveling and speaking that I do, I've been to 15 states in the last five months, nobody's heard of the Women's March, nobody knows squadouche about the UN Ban Treaty negotiations. So we have some work to do to uh, educate people and mobilize them. Anything else on this or I'd like to